Hi, it's Vicki with She Makes Buttons. I cannot contain myself with how excited I am to decorate for the week of Halloween. I'm so excited, in fact, that today is only Tuesday the 20th. And normally I wouldn't be planning my next week until either Saturday or Sunday, but here we are on Tuesday. I, after work today, I created some stickers in order to make my plan. Um, I couldn't find anything that was really tripping my trigger in my Happy Planner sticker collection. So I just pulled out my Cricut. I made some of my own and yeah, so let's just jump right into this. I am going to be planning in my big detailed flowers edition. I couldn't think of what it was called, but that's what it is. And we are going to be doing October 26th through Sunday the 1st, which is going to cover Halloween. And I think what I'm going to do, well, what I know what I'm going to do is just jump right into it. All we're doing today is just decorating. There will not be any uh, appointments, pin, nothing like that. I will do that later in the week. I'm just going to be laying down the stickers today. So let me go ahead and take my pages out so it's easier to put the stickers on. And I will show you really quick the stickers that I made for this week. Um, let me get them all over here. Okay, the first thing I made, which is probably what I'm most excited about, and I don't know if you're going to be able to really see the detail in this washi, but I made stickers for the washi area, and it's all little trick-or-treaters dressed up in their little costumes. Can you see that? How adorable is this? Oh my goodness, so I made that. And we're going to use that to cover up the center here, but that's like my favorite. I do have a couple of ghosts that I made, so let me pull those out. And they're just happy little fellas. I have a spider web and a spider, another spider web. Well, these two. And, you know, I like I said, I made these on my Cricut, but I cut them out by hand because... When I was making these and printing them, I was doing stuff with my grandson at the same time and I got sidetracked and I canceled out of my Cricut before I could say, oh yeah, let's go ahead and cut them out. But that's all right. It'll serve its purpose. It's still going to be cute. I have this one, which is going to cover up this pink box. I have my spooky hand, which is going to be um, handing out Halloween candies. I have another spider. This cute little guy. A scary jack-o'-lantern with, oh, with candy. I hope I've been showing these right. I should pay attention to what's on the camera. A little bat. Um, another spider. And then this spooky house with a cemetery. So the first thing that I want to do is lay down that uh, washi tape that I made. And oh my gosh, this is so cute, so cute. Um, and these, it is a sticker and on the Cricut, it wouldn't allow me to do it for this whole size of the page of the paper. I had to cut it. So, um, but that's okay because I have enough so it'll just line up perfectly. So let me get this sticker off. And how excited are you to decorate your planner for Halloween? Is it really going to be something like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting, this is so fun? Or is it just like, uh, it's just going to be another week, whatever. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram doing um, a bunch of like witches and pumpkins on theirs, but I want to decorate more. Oh, I jacked up my sticker already. Ah, that's okay because it's going to have a hole punch there. But 
I wanted mine to be more um, colorful and playful and whatnot. So I want a mirrored image. So if it's like this, then it needs to be this way. Okay. And then let me do this last one. And we're only going to be decorating with stickers tonight. I'm not going to be doing any appointments or pins or anything like that because I don't even know what's going on for next week yet. I'm still so busy with this week that uh, I can't even think about next week. Not yet, anyway. All right. So let me get this down because I know where that's going. Oh, and I found my lid. It was very exciting. And I'm really liking using pieces of scrapbook paper to cover up this box when I don't need it. And I think that it adds so much more to these pages having a little bit of art on them. Let me move those so I don't stab my full self. Okay. And then this little house I was going to put down here. But then I need something to cover this up. And I probably need like a moon or um, or a night sky or something. I wonder if I should bring this in down here, cover up that, and then have that. Or was that just be too much black? Because it does look kind of cool, to tell you the truth. I do like it. I might do that. Because I can lay it down, and then if I decide, ooh, I don't like that, that's kind of silly, then I can always take it off. So I want more stars on it than, than not. And I want the whole page down to the bottom. So we can try it, and then if it doesn't look good, we can undo it. No harm, no foul. Where's my cutting? My first choice before I made that house with the this sticker here, I was gonna do these big pumpkins. But I think that they're just too big. Yeah, I think that they would be too big for it. So I opted for the house. Now, where did my mark go? <sighs> We're back to me being blind. Oh, there it is. Okay. And that's something that I need to do. I did not call the eye doctor yet. So I can put that in this. Of getting on the ball and doing that. All right, so and then we'll do here. Okay. And I'm not going to glue it yet because I want to see how it's going to look first. Let's see if it is something that I want to and then I'll just have to trim up some of the, these edges here. I think we'll do it. And I probably need to trim my tree up a little bit better with the white then. 
since the the white's not good because on here it really wouldn't matter if there was white but now if i'm going to be doing this it does matter so let me trim some of that up I think I want more of this part of the the gravestones, the headstones. Okay. And then let's pull out our glue again. Seriously? Okay. And I do think that that having this scrapbook paper with the stars on it as this background covering up this is going to make it look really cool. It might be a little bit too much black on this page, so I might need to add a little something, um, like maybe a splash of orange from a pumpkin. I'm not really sure if I want to break up the, the colors, but it is Halloween, so it might all work out fine. Now, I know that I want this to be on the 31st for, and then he could just be coming out and dropping the candy into this little treat bag, but I want it to go to like, um, you know what? I wonder if I have candy in here. No candy. All right. Should I do a spooky? Maybe. I want to do Happy Halloween. any Halloween in here. Yeah, nothing. I might do spooky, like just all right. So I want him to be handing out candy. Or should be like this and the candy will be dropping into his hand. I 
don't know how I want to do it. I think I want to do it that way. Okay, so this. Dropping candy into the bag. And I don't know why these stickers are so smeary. I don't know if I need to clean my printer or if my printer just uses too much ink to make these or something. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check into that because sometimes it just like smears the ink and I don't like that. Especially for the price that I paid for that printer. I shouldn't do any kind of smearing. Because it was ridiculously expensive. But I want it to look like he's dropping the candies. Do, 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 do. So maybe they should just be staggered. I'm not really sure here how I want to do it. Um, so there's one. There's one. Okay, now I've made these so small, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off. Oh, for Pete's sake, there we go. Okay. So I want one of them there, like he's dropping it in. One like that. Gosh, my hand is so itchy. Okay, and then maybe like that. Okay, now. I want to do this little pumpkin and he can just be random somewhere. Well, you know what? I would think that what I want to do is lay him out first, see how it's going to look before I commit. And then I can have this one here for the spider web. And then maybe here, well, that looks kind of silly. Um, maybe down here to cover up the important. That'll be cute. And then this one here coming down like that. Or, because it'd be cute like that. But then there's too much spider web. So, what if I did it over here? Or is that too much? I don't know. And these guys, I wanted to do kind of like, Hi. you went outside? Oh my goodness, was it fun? I, I heard you outside. Did you play on the playground? Yeah. <gasps> you did, you're so good and so smart and so handsome. This one could just be coming out from, cause I'm not buying anything. So that one, maybe I'm doing a little bit overboard here. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, I think, yeah, I think this one. Um, I don't want to put that down too much yet because I want to put this guy in here. 
I'm going to have so many stickers on here. I'm not going to have any room to write down any appointments or any activities if I happen to have any, which is fine. Well, I ended up getting a call and I hit ignore. And I guess when I did that, it shut my camera off. So you didn't get to see me decorating the rest of this. But let me just show you what I did. I added um, the ghost stickers, the spiders, the spider webs, this little guy here. Uh, I did the spider webs over here, the pumpkins. I added a bat. I think it turned out really cute. Um, but yeah, it's just, it is what it is. It's a real quick video tonight um, since all I'm going to do is just these, these stickers. But I really do like how it turned out, especially that middle washi tape with all of the little trick-or-treaters in their costumes but let me go ahead and punch these holes so i can get the pages back in my planner um but yeah i think it turned out i think it turned out cute i think i was a little more excited before it happened and now that it's done it's like oh it's decorated for halloween it's cute but maybe i pumped myself up a little bit more than i should have for this page layout i don't know <laughs> oh goodness gracious but um what was your favorite part of this one is it the washi do you like that although i do like that little uh witch up in the corner as well i think that that is um it adds a lot to this page that's really cute and i punched my holes wrong so let me go redo this real fast and then we'll get them in there but I hope that you enjoyed watching this video tonight and that it will give you some inspiration to do your own Halloween layout. And if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more planning videos or other tomfoolery, then please hit that subscribe button. And I would love to have you join my little YouTube family here. So... Until later in the week when I upload another video, take care.